The truth about Post Malone, Malone was born on July 4, 1995, in Syracuse, New York. He was raised by his father, Rich Post, and his stepmother, Jody. His father had been a DJ in his youth and introduced Malone to many different genres of music including hip-hop, country, and rock. When Malone was nine years old, he and his family moved to Grapevine, Texas, after his father became the manager of concessions for the Dallas Cowboys. Malone began to play the guitar and auditioned for the American band Crown the Empire in 2010, but was rejected after his guitar strings broke during the audition. He credited his initial interest in learning guitar to the popular video game Guitar Hero. Malone has always had a love for alternative rock music, and appeared for a DJ set at MO Night in Los Angeles in June 2017, playing songs by American alt-rock band My Chemical Romance at the event. According to Malone, his first foray into professional music began when he was in a heavy metal band. Soon after, he says he transitioned to soft rock as well as hip-hop, before beginning to experiment on FL Studio. Career, 2011 to 2016, Career Beginnings in Stony. Malone performing in 2015, according to Malone, he chose Post Malone as his stage name when he was 14 or 15. The name was rumored to be a reference to the professional basketball player Carl Malone, but Malone later explained that Post is his last name, and he used a rap name generator to get Malone. At 16, using audio editor Audacity, Malone created his first mixtape, Young and After Them Riches. He showed it to some of his classmates at Grapevine High School. He was voted most likely to become famous by his classmates as a senior in high school. He worked at a Chicken Express as a teenager. Malone later enrolled in Tarrant County College, but eventually dropped out. After leaving college, Malone moved to Los Angeles, California, with his longtime friend Jason Probst, a professional game streamer. After moving to Los Angeles, Malone, Probst, and several other producers and artists formed the music group BLCKVRD and recorded music together. Several members of the group, including Malone, moved into a house in LA's San Fernando Valley together. While living in San Fernando Valley, Malone met record producers FKI first and sauced Lord Rich, who formed the production team FKI, as well as Rex Kudo, who produced several of Malone's tracks, including White Iverson. Malone recorded the song two days after writing it. The lyrics of White Iverson allude to Basketball Hall of Fame player Allen Iverson. In February 2015, upon completion, it was uploaded to Malone's SoundCloud account. On July 19, 2015, Malone released a music video for White Iverson. The single received praise from Mac Miller and Wiz Khalifa. However, the song was notoriously mocked by Earl Sweatshirt. Malone at the Velt Music Festival in Canada in 2016, after hitting 1 million views within a month of releasing White Iverson, Malone quickly garnered attention from record labels. In August 2015, he signed a recording contract with Republic Records. Malone subsequently worked with a number of prominent rappers such as 50 Cent, Young Thug, and Kanye West, among others. In August 2015, he performed at Kylie Jenner's 18th birthday party, where he met Kanye West, who enjoyed his music, leading to him collaborating with Malone on a single fade from his album The Life of Pablo, 2016. Malone later began his friendship with Canadian singer and songwriter Justin Bieber, which led to Malone being an opening act for Bieber's Purpose World Tour, 2016-17. On April 20, 2016, Malone premiered his new single, Go Flex on Zane Lowe's Beats One Show. On May 12, 2016, he released his first full-length project, a mixtape, titled August 26, the title of which was a reference to the release date of his debut album. On June 9, 2016, Malone made his national television debut on Jimmy Kimmel Live, performing Go Flex. In June 2016, XXL editor-in-chief Vanessa Satin revealed Malone was considered for XXL's 2016 Freshman Class magazine cover, but she was told by his camp that he wasn't paying attention to hip-hop so much. He was going in more of a rock-pop country direction. However, Malone denied these claims, explaining that his latest mixtape as well as his upcoming album were both hip-hop. In August 2016, Malone issued an apology for his album, Stony, Being Late. It was available for pre-order on November 4th and was finally released on December 9. Malone later went on to call the album mediocre, despite the success of the single Congratulations featuring Carvo, Malone's first top 10 song on the Billboard Hot 100, peaking at number 8. Stoney also featured the top 100 hits I Fall Apart, and Deja Vu, featuring Bieber, with the album later being certified double platinum by the RIAA in October 2017. 2017-2019 Beer bongs and Bentleys and Hollywood's Bleeding, in February 2017, Malone revealed the title of his next project, 
beer bongs and Bentleys, and was set to be released in December, before eventually being pushed back to 2018. In September, Malone released the first single from the album, Rockstar, featuring 21 Savage. The song peaked at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and held the spot for eight consecutive weeks, later prompting Rolling Stone to call him one of the most popular musicians in the country in 2017. In November, Malone released the official music video for Rockstar, directed by Emil Nava. On February 20, 2018, Malone previewed his new song with Ty Dolla Sign titled Psycho. Psycho was released on February 23, 2018, and a tour with 21 Savage was announced. The song debuted at number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming Malone's third entry in the top 10. On April 5, 2018, Malone stated that Beer Bongs and Bentleys will be released on April 27, 2018. The same day, he also premiered the song's stay during the Bud Light Dive Bar show in Nashville. Upon release, Beer Bongs and Bentleys broke the first day streaming records on Spotify, with 78.7 .7 million streams worldwide. It debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 moving 461,000 album equivalent units in its first week, with 153,000 coming from pure sales. The album was also certified platinum by the RIA after four days and spawned three top 10 songs and six top 20 songs. Post performing on the main stage at Stavern Festivalen in Stavern, Norway in 2018, in an interview with Billboard in May 2018, Malone's manager announced that Malone was planning to start his own record label and film production company and Malone later won top rap song at the Billboard Music Awards for Rockstar featuring 21 Savage Malone confirmed in June 2018 that he was writing his third album, and confirmed that a festival would be taking place, organized by him, titled Posty Fest, in Dallas, Texas on October 28th. Malone promised a blockbuster lineup with headliners like rapper Travis Scott. In August, Malone broke Michael Jackson's 34-year-old record for most weeks on Billboard's top R&B and hip-hop albums chart, with Stoney reaching its 77th week on the ranking compared to the 76 weeks that Thriller, 1983, spent. A collaboration album with rapper Mac Miller was also teased in August 2018. During his appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, he previewed his song Sunflower, a collaboration with Swa Lee, from the soundtrack to the film Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse. In November 2018, it was confirmed Malone was recording his third album in his Utah home. Malone was nominated for four awards at the 61st Grammy Awards for his album Beer Bongs and Bentleys. Among the nominations were Album of the Year and Record of the Year. He performed with the Red Hot Chili Peppers at the awards show on February 10, 2019. In July 2019, Malone released the single Goodbyes featuring Young Thug, and also announced the Runaway Tour with Swanley as the opener. On August 5, Malone shared a snippet of an unreleased track Circles on YouTube. He then performed the song at his second annual Bud Light, Dive Bar concert and confirmed that the official song would be released the following week. That same day and on July 25, 2019, at Cheyenne Frontier Days he announced the album was finished. He released the song on August 30, 2019. He confirmed that his upcoming third studio album will be released on September 6, 2019. On August 26, 2019, Malone announced on Twitter that his third album is called Hollywood's Bleeding and would be released on September 6, 2019. The album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, selling 489,000 album equivalent units in its first week. 2020, upcoming album, on March 12, 2020, Malone's concert at Denver's Pepsi Center proceeded as scheduled, drawing a sellout crowd of 20,000, likely the largest enclosed gathering in the U.S. before COVID-19 pandemic lockdowns. Malone received backlash for not canceling his sold-out arena show amid rising concerns over the COVID-19 pandemic. Reportedly, future U.S. tour dates in March were postponed by Live Nation on March 12, 2020. On April 24, 2020, Malone announced that a new album is in progress during a live stream performance. In late April 2020, Malone performed a live stream set consisting entirely of Nirvana covers from his home. Malone sang lead vocals and provided rhythm guitar for the set. He was accompanied by drummer Travis Barker, bassist Brian Lee and lead guitarist Nick Mack. The performance raised over 5 million US dollars for the World Health Organization's COVID-19 relief fund. The performance also received praise from Nirvana surviving members Chris Novoselic and Dave Grohl, as well as Kurt Cobain's widow Courtney Love. In June 2020, Malone featured on Tyler Yao's single, Tommy Lee. The single was followed up with a remix, released July 10, 2020, featuring drums from Tommy Lee himself, as well as a re-recorded guitar instrumental. 
a second remix to the song, featuring rapper Saint JHN, was released subsequently. Musical Style Public street art featuring a mural of Post Malone in Melbourne, Australia. Malone's music is hip-hop, R&B, pop, trap, hip-hop, rap rock and cloud rap. Malone's music has been described as a melting pot of the country, grunge, hip-hop and R&B and Malone himself has been described as versatile. His vocal style has been described as laconic. John Karamanka of the New York Times described Malone as an artist who toes the line between singing and rapping, and hip-hop and spooky electric folk. Malone himself has called his music genre less. Malone cites Bob Dylan, in whom he became interested around the age of 15, as an influence on his music, calling him a genius and a god though his music has been called about as far away from rock and roll as you can get. He called Subterranean Homesick Blues the first rap song. He has a tattoo of Dylan as well. Malone has cited Kurt Cobain and Johnny Cash as key influences too. Malone has also cited 50 Cent, whom he called a legend, Kanye West and Key. As influences. Controversies, Malone has been called a culture vulture multiple times by different publications and on social media for appropriating African American culture. California rapper Lil B wrote on Twitter in October 2017, Post Malone is slowly turning into a white dude. Lil he's pushing it, give it a few years he gun be full country and hate blacks lol, with Malone replying in an interview, claiming that his white skin has been used against him. In January 2018, Malone went on an intoxicated rant against people who describe him as a culture vulture. In an interview with GQ several days later, Malone said there's a struggle being a white rapper. In a November 2017 interview with Polish media outlet New Once, Malone said that modern hip-hop music lacks people talking about real shit and added that if you're looking to think about life, don't listen to hip-hop. He received social media backlash for his comments, including from fellow rappers such as Lil B and Vince Staples. Malone later appeared in a video on Twitter, saying that the reason for his comments was that it was a beer-tasting interview, and going on to say that he loves hip-hop. New Once, however, denied that claim, stating that Malone barely drank at all during the interview. Other ventures, in May 2020, Malone launched his own line of French rose wine, Maison No. 9, named after his favorite tarot card, the Nine of Swords. It sold out in two days upon being made available for sale. Personal life, Malone currently lives in Los Angeles, California. He also has a multi-million dollar 12,700 square foot home in Cottonwood Heights, Utah. Malone's old home in San Fernando Valley, California, was robbed on September 1, 2018. Malone was in a three-year-long relationship with Ashlyn Diaz, ending in November 2018. On August 21, 2018, Malone boarded a plane leaving Teterboro Airport and was scheduled to land in London Luton Airport. At 10.50 a.m., the tires blew out on takeoff and the plane was rerouted to Stewart International Airport for an emergency landing. The plane landed safely at 3.50 p.m. Once the plane had landed, Malone tweeted about the incident, writing I landed guys. Thank you for your prayers can't believe how many people wished death on me on this website. Fuck you but not today. Malone was involved in a car crash on September 8, 2018. Malone's white Rolls Royce was driving through Santa Monica in the early morning when it collided with another car at 3.30 a.m. Although no one was severely injured in the incident, several people were treated for minor injuries. Health In March 2020, a video surfaced that showed Malone falling and behaving oddly on stage to his song, I Fall Apart, which made fans worry about his well-being and health. Malone himself denied the claims, saying that he was not on drugs and I feel the best I've ever fucking felt in my life. His manager Dre London likewise claimed there was no need to worry and that Malone's behavior was part of the act. Malone's father Richard Post also commented on the artist's behavior, stating that he does not want to come across as dismissive to those of you who have expressed concern about Austin. Your sincerity and kindness regarding him is certainly heartwarming and appreciated. Tattoos Post's stony tattoo below his chin which is in reference to his debut album, Malone has a number of tattoos that he inked himself and has also inked tattoos on several friends and acquaintances. Currently, he has 77 different tattoos. Political views, Malone has a tattoo of US President John F. Kennedy on his arm, and has said that Kennedy was the only president to speak out against the crazy corruption stuff that's going on in our government nowadays. In December 2016, Malone stated that if asked to perform at the inauguration of Donald Trump he would not have been opposed, though he stated that neither Trump nor Hillary Clinton were fit for President of the United States and expressed his support of Bernie Sanders during the election cycle. Malone later expressed a dislike for Trump in a November 2017 interview for Rolling Stone.
In the same interview, he revealed that he has a large collection of guns and believes it is an American right to own and operate guns. Malone also expressed a strong interest in conspiracy theories when he said, there's crazy shit that goes on that we can't explain. During a trip to Canada in 2018, Malone was interviewed and when asked what the biggest lie is, he replied the biggest lie in the world is the US government. It's a fucking reality show and I think there's gonna be a lot of weird shit that happens within our generation that really changes the way of the world.